Hello, and I've had a quick question on YouTube, and it was on my uh, Mac tip number two, how I edit, record, and export in iMovie 8, and and that works with uh, iMovie 9 as well. But I've just had a question of someone saying they didn't really explain the editing part. So I thought I will I would record this video just to show them they didn't really get the how like to cut stuff out, paste stuff in, uh, just basically stuff like that. And fair enough, I did get stuck with it at the start. I'm still not no way near a good editor. I just I can just put the video together, edit bits out that I need to, but I can't really do green screening or like professional voiceovers or anything yet but if I'm showing you this today you should be able to do it so for example I'll just this is just a project I've got in at the minute so I'll just play this bit for you here smooth and fresh I don't know if the dude looks smooth and fresh and I don't want that bit for example so all you'd have to do say you've messed up and you don't want to record the whole video again for that point there you just have to find your point and say find the end which I'll say is about there so I'll start here and end there. And all you need to do is drag, fresh. I don't know if you need to do and let go. And as you can see, that is covered that bit there that I want to remove. All I do then is right click and then you can you get a selection. You can play, play the selection, play from the beginning of the video. Play the video in full screen, cut, copy, delete selection, delete the entire clip, select entire clip, trim to selection, split audio, split clip, detach audio, analyze for stabilization, add comment marker, add chapter marker, add a freeze frame, reveal in event browser, reveal in finder or project properties. And all you do there to get rid of that is click cut. And as you can see, it leaves a gap there. Only a little, a little one. But when I play it, just to keep it, keep an eye on it, the icon has appeared. Just to make that a bit more smooth, you just want to head over to this side here, click transitions, and any transitions you like. I like keeping the transitions simple, so we don't draw people's attentions to the transition. Just more to keep on the video to keep it smooth. So for this one, like I said in the other video, I tend to use fade to black or fade to white. You obviously can add a more, not sophisticated, but a more eye-catching transition, say for the start of the video, to draw their attention then. But say it's in the middle of the video like this, I wouldn't really bother. So that's there. That was the bit that I cut out. And as you can see, that's gone. And this video will play as normal now smooth icon has appeared. As you see it plays as normal so that's been cut out there. But say what happens if I did record another bit of video and I wanted that bit in there. So all you'd have to do is go file, import, movies and I'm just going to try and get a bit of media that I wanted in there. So let's go into my movies, go into my raw footage that I've recorded and I'll just get a piece of Time Machine, this was a video you saw I've done before. So once this gets posted in here, I'll show you how to add that bit into there. So this is handy if you've got like a couple of, say you was on holiday, you recorded one day, and then another day, and then another day, and another day, and you wanted to all add them into different clips, but in the same video. So to, I'll just delete that transition and I would highlight the bit of this video I'd want. Okay. So I'd want that bit. As you can see, I'll just do roughly 10 seconds. So all you'd have to do again is drag, drag it over to that point, into that gap, let go, and as you can see it's added there in between that bit of the video that there was a gap. And then all you need to do is add a transition to either side. You don't have to add this guys, but I always do. Add the transition to either side, and as you can see, and how do I get them to look so smooth? Well, I've won, and today, for this Mac tip, I'll be showing you how to set up top. As you see, it plays from one part of the clip to a completely different video, which I've 
just dragged in. So that is very handy to be able to do that. Uh, there's not much else I can show you really. Well, there is. I can say I want at the start of the video, I want to let people know what it is. You just go on to click the T for text. You just drag whichever one you like. As you see with iMovie 09, there is a lot more better like intro themes. But say you just wanted a plain one, just drag that over to the start. And then it comes up in this little editing pane here. You just click which one you like. I'll use underwater. And then you type in the title text. I'll just put editing in iMovie 09. Done. Add a transition. And as you can see, you've got the start for people so they can see what the video is. And it plays onto the video. So that's just, and I hope that's answered your question. Uh, if there's any more things I can help you with, just drop me another message and I'll try and get them videos out for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.